Lesson number 25, Exercises in Financial Statements. Hello guys, kumusta mga kaibigan? In this lesson, we are going to prepare the financial statements. This is the adjusted trial balance that we had prepared in the previous lesson. From the adjusted trial balance, we can now prepare the financial statements, the income statement, and then the balance sheet. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. To prepare the income statement, all we have to do is to first identify all the income and expense accounts in our adjusted trial balance, get their balances, and write the balances in the income statement report. This is an example of an income statement format. Whether it's the income statement or the balance sheet, we always should have a heading. A heading contains the business name, Paminto and Consulting Services, the name of the report, income statement, and then the date for the month ended March 31, 2017. So please take note for the income statement, the date should be stated like this for the month ended March 31, 2017. It, it means the report shows the revenues and expenses from March 1 to March 31. Okay, consulting revenue, 173,000 pesos. Then we all we have the expenses. Salaries expense, 4,000 pesos. Utilities expense, 2,299 pesos. Traveling expense, 3,200 pesos. Supplies expense, 3,000 pesos. Rent expense, 5,000 pesos. Depreciation expense, 571 pesos and 43 centavos. Taxes and licenses, 3,500 pesos. Advertising expense, 3,000 pesos. Total expenses, 24,000 570 pesos and 43 centavos deducted from consulting revenue. So we have a net income of 148,429 pesos and 57 centavos. Net income, 148,429 pesos and 57 centavos. To prepare the balance sheet, we identify all the asset, liability, and owner's equity accounts in our adjusted trial balance get their balances, and write these balances in the balance sheet. So simple as that. This is an example of a balance sheet format. So we have a heading, Pamintuan's Consulting Services, the name of the report, balance sheet, then the date, March 31, 2017. If you would notice the date is different, the description of the date for the balance sheet is different for the income statement. In the income statement, you have to write for the month ended because we are talking about a period of time so from a starting date to uh, an end date while in a balance sheet all we have to do is the the as of date so this is the report as of march 31 okay so we have assets then the liabilities owners equity groupings List down all the assets. So this is a typical format of a balance sheet. So get the balances. Please take note, total assets is 283,428 pesos and 57 cents. Should be equal to the total liabilities in owner's equity, which is also 283,428 pesos and 57 cents. We can just get the balances of these accounts from the adjusted trial balance and then write them on this balance sheet format. So this is how a typical balance sheet looks like. 